Hello and welcome into It's a Crit. I'm sure I scared people over here. Nope. Yep, there they are. Okay. So, <laughs> there you go. Welcome yo, yo. to It's a Crit. I am CJ, the DM here, and with me today are my friends, Nettie, out of place apparently. Uh, Ty yeah. is Hi. in place. We can confirm that. Is that confirmed? Can I get two confir confirmations, guys? Yep. Confirmations. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, I need a second yep, yep, though. Yep, yep, I have yep, one yep, motion. Yep, yep. Yeah. We, okay. Yes. I think that's four. Uh -huh. I think we're good. Yes. Uh, underneath, <laughs> down on the bottom row, we have tw uh, Twig being commanded apparently by oh, his player. Man. By his player, that's gonna hurt my ears on the uh, on the auto feedback there. I'll, I'll fix that later. And uh, that that. <laughs> that is Dom running on the bottom, and then <laughs> next to him is Chris running buckshot, and Aaron is still missing. He will eventually return. I'm pretty sure he might have made it to the ethereal plane by now, but we he will is find an out. Accident. We a have to go accident? down and get him. You know, he, accident. Yeah, well, he might because his other character in our in a game is Salem, and he's a, he's a pirate. So you know, it's actually it's he... actually pretty. That's that's a pretty good guess. So uh Go yeah, this eat him by an alligator. Uh, I don't think anyone has fought an alligator in our game. It doesn't matter. Anyway, welcome to our campaign, Feywild Follies. This is, this is a short story uh driven campaign. It's only ten to twenty episodes. We'll see how it goes. We're already in episode ten, so I need to pick up the pace. Um that being said, last we left off, the adventurers found themselves back in the uh well the starting point, really, almost. Buckshot's hometown. And um, they, uh, which of Queenswood, which is a lizard folk village uh, built around the large trunk of this massive tree where the Fey Gate is located. Uh, after having hunted down the lieutenants of the um, the deserted, which were a mysterious black armored group that came through and just devastated the town and stole a moonblade from a Fey Queen that Buckshot's tribe happens to serve. We they hunted all the lieutenants down, found the commander ended up somehow switching sides, helping the commander in the last minute, and the, the commander gave himself up for Twig, saving him after Twig fell into a Feygate portal falling from the sky. He he, he essentially changed, he, he traded places with Twig. So we got a lot of what the heck going on here for the party. There is a lot of changes of hearts, it seems, and Buckshot is having an internal crisis. Um, now the party is back in Queenswood, talking to that Fae Great representative, Pentavis, which we all know and love. And, yep. uh, well, uh -huh. I think that's where uh, we left yeah. off. Right now, the party needs to regroup, rest, gather whatever supplies they need, and move forward. So, party, we are indeed in Queenswood. We'll move the map over there, and, um... <laughs> It's not on my screen. Oh Perfect. my god. You're welcome. And, uh, with that, I believe that... Um, you guys are outside the building. You all pissed off in Tavis. He still gave you a bunch of money. And there are two vendors here in the town. And aside from the vendors, you see Red Tooth. Uh, Stubborn Scale is in a different building. Basil was hiding in the grass, I believe, next to a building. I am sleeping. Perfect. I'm just full on. Yes. That is what we'll go with. So, <laughs> party, it is in your hands now. How do you wish to okay. proceed? Um, I would like to go and find the uh, magic item store. Were we already at a magic item store? I think we were. I need to find at least one more magic item store. I have there a are, plan. There are two vendors uh, that um, Red Tooth will have whispered by as you guys were going outside, hearing the money jingling around in your pockets. Uh, he points to the building that is located... Oops, X right over here. There are, uh, you can see the two named lizard folk inside. Uh, there's mm -hmm. Jess Trunk Hands and uh, Jim Axel Sticky Fingers. And so Beautiful. both of them are merch. They are merchants. Uh, so you guys can actually open up their sheets and purchase if you need to. But if it's too expensive, I would recommend haggling or trading or whatever you need to do. Ow, that was not a good move on my okay, part. Okay, let's see. Oh, hit yourself. No. Um... While don't some party, any of that. There is Excuse you. lots of random stuff in both of those. Uh, you can see, but um, which one do you guys walk up to? What do you do? You guys are currently standing in an alley, suspiciously. I'm just sitting there like a cat would. Suspiciously. Suspiciously. <laughs> they don't have cats here, as you noticed. Um, only food. They're probably. A f I mean, I'm pretty sure they might have them, and they just might eat them as a snack. Yeah, that's. 
Yes, we waste them up like the humans do with the chickens. <laughs> yes. Oh. Huh. Hmm? Guys? Sorry, I, I was reading that whatever Jess Trunk has, he Twig is going to go inside. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna follow him. Come on, Winter. Come on. I know you want some cool stuff. Every, and everything is exorbitantly expensive, I'm sure, but again, it doesn't hurt to ask. And Patavis gave us a lot of money, not gonna gave you, lie. He gave you, gave you quite a bit of money. <laughs> Walk over there, I'm just gonna ask uh, Twig. Um, so... How sturdy are you? Let's say you were gonna be in the place of someone getting executed. I'll jump onto his shoulder so that I can actually like, talk. No, actually message or talk really quiet. One of the two. Let's just, just say you would be in the place of someone getting executed. How sturdy are you? Uh, executed? Yeah. Did you take that and survive? Well, like, how executed? Like, if are they gonna stone me to death? Are they gonna, like, hang me? Mm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we could ask them. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Wait, hang on. <laughs> like, the first question and the second question isn't adding up at all. I... <laughs> it, yeah, mm. I'll ask, I guess, yeah. <laughs> He's kind of, like, sitting with Winter, just kind of, like, whispering to this cat, like, eh, eh, well... I guess back in my tribe, my original nickname was Trunk Splitter. Uh huh. It wasn't, you know, unexpected. Who said that? Yeah, you see Jess' trunk hands, like just staring at you intently. Uh, n my original name was Trunk Splitter. It was Ghoul Trunk Splitter name. Yeah, it wasn't Twig. I didn't have a name. My mom didn't care for me that much. Hmm. Hmm. Trunk splitter, you say? Yeah. Uh, did you split a lot of trunks? Well, my strike was so powerful. Those. Okay. Was it folk? <laughs> my, my, my strike was so powerful I could split a tree oh. trunk in half. Winter, That's... you random King Booyah, thank you. Hello. Welcome you. in, Hello. King Booyah. Yo. <laughs> Winter, you get a point inspiration Yo. already. We haven't done anything yet. Yay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you can use it for this roll. Uh, oh, oh, true. We're now roll a wisdom save or you die. Building. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Having a conversation with Twig must be difficult. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fair enough. So is that one trunk use it was multiple like uh. i had to prove it multiple in my tribe as orcs do you know it's like uh -huh. boy you can't do that and you had to prove it to uh -huh. like multiple and then you know like uh -huh. are we buying stuff why are you saying uh-huh you know what yes to your I'm first listening. question and yes no. to your second question i don't like talking well, about my past my oh mm -hmm. i like talking about my kids you never asked about my kids, and you know what? It's a little what are they annoying. Names? I am tired and cranky. Can we just buy our stuff and leave? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I wanted to talk about them now, but we can buy things. We can talk later. But why don't we sit, sit around the campfire later and then talk about them? Thank you. I would love, I would really appreciate that. We can all talk about our past. I would love that. We already know Basil's past. It's kind of fucked up, if you didn't remember. It's yeah, yes, it's bad. It's bad, right? Like, I didn't even know. He was like, this old, like, innocent turtle is like, wow, wow. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. What, what, did we want to buy things? Yeah, I. I, I <laughs> 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 so later, like. <laughs> I jump down and I walk over to Trunk Hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and Sticky Fingers are the poor ass horse. Yeah, Sticky Fingers, yeah. <laughs> There's literally a horse in this room, you guys. Like, it's just standing right here in the corner. 
There's just a full draft horse in the corner. Just sticky fingers is like, you know, got it tied up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you walk over to Jess Trunkhands. Yeah. Yeah. I'll jump on the counter. Start oh, okay, sliding. Then. You start sliding down the broken counter. <laughs> I'll use my claws to try okay, to slide. It too. <laughs> Twig reaches out and just kind of like holds Winter on the counter. Okay. Okay. Well, here. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Make a strength check with disadvantage. <laughs> what do you want? Tough. Are you here to buy something or tempt me? Thank you. I haven't had a snack in a while. Oh, um, I got charred horse meat. I have, uh, I think they were human, humanoid. I have lizard folk. Anything feline? I don't think Winter's really felining it. <laughs> don't you fucking eat my cat. <laughs> oh, so this is your pet for later, fine. Uh, sure. Yeah, let's go with that. What do you want? That you approached me? As you can see, I'm very busy. There's a line somewhere. It's outside. You can't see it. I just came from outside. Other side of the building. But there's no door. You don't know that. Uh -huh. just, he's just like squinting, staring at winter. Challenging winter. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, nice. do you Love. sell things? Yes, many things. Whatever I found on the bodies. Many things, actually. What bodies? The ones. Ah, never mind. What? Do, what do you want? I squid back. <laughs> <laughs> they just point out these NPCs keep getting dumb as we go on. <laughs> Jess then you know. just looks over at Twig and he's like, what do you want? Uh, I need some more javelins, and I see you only have one javelin over yes, there. It's a, the javelin. it's a special <laughs> one. How is it special? You touch it, you die. If oh, wait, I, no, that's not how, how no, the no, bird one? Oh, sorry. No, no, sorry. You, touch oh, it, you touch it, and then, and then you say some words, and then someone else dies. That, that's what I meant. Say some words. What words? Uh, Alakazoo. I don't know, but there's words, and then you just... Alakazoo! And, and it works, and then they die. Yes. Shoots out lightning or something. He jabs oh, goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Alakazoo. <laughs> yeah, you turn around, and he's just like, nope, that's... <laughs> I'll guess hmm. one of these days. How much for that javelin that explodes when I say Alakazoo? Um, 1,500. 1500. Gold. Will you go? Gold. Ooh. Hmm. Winter, what do you think? Do I need that? Well, from what I've seen you do, you don't need anything. Why are, tra oh, why, why, why are travelers here anyway? Wait, why are you here? Uh, because we're awesome. Why wouldn't we be here? Because this is a lizard folk village, and right now we were attacked, and there's nowhere for merchants to set up. So, what are you doing here? But. We are travelers. So while traveling, we came through here. Roll a persuasion check. Uh, uh, persuasion. Ooh, I'm proficient. Oh. And oh. I rolled not good. <laughs> 13. Uh, oh, yes, travel. The travelers do come here a lot. True. Okay. We need strong cans. Ah, buckshot. Ah! There are travelers here oh. for dinner. I mean, traveling. 
Uh, unfortunately, they've been hired by Pentavis. Uh, so we can't do our usual mistake. Uh, well then... Wait, then, stick, then you, hang on. Fine, then I guess... Then show, I guess I'll, show your face. I'll give you the Pentavis discount, so that's 40% off there. I've adjusted my prices according. Okay, our right. <laughs> right. You don't seem amused. Do you want the prices original? I can happily charge them. No, no, no. You know what? Um, I see a great axe. Not interested. Not gonna lie. I'll take that javelin and uh, all the potions of healing that you have. Fine. Fine. And players, you can essentially just add. Make sure you add the money to your uh, character sheets, and then you can actually just go into this sh this sheet and click the buy button. And transfer to you. Oh. Just. I actually finally, after how many episodes of Into Anterium, finally got my merchant sheets up and running on Foundry, everybody. <laughs> you're, you're, you're constantly learning and bettering yourself. Oh, cool. Twig purchases three potions of greater healing. Nice. Well, because uh, it says the inventory you have three. Yeah, yeah. Give me all of them. Okay. That, yeah, that's fine. Huh. And then we're going to purchase. There we go, right there. Twig bought that. all of the potions of healing. <laughs> all seven. Wow. He bought all of the potions of healing. But, oh, well, you. Hey. Yeah, I, I think. Buckshot, he might be addicted to the blood vial juice. They taste blood vial. That makes sense. It tastes really good. <laughs> makes sense. Just doesn't skip a beat. Just like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm cool with I'm that. Gonna... That's uh, it's a good poke, thing. Keep selling. Hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, twig. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna point at the great sword that probably is somewhere, because only that way, if everything is somewhere, we can see them. Yeah, yeah. His stuff is all behind him. Yeah. Yeah. What? What about that great sword? It looks like a great sword for you. It is I mean, a great sword. I wasn't gonna buy a weapon because you said I was great. If you really think I can handle it, I'll take it. Oh, that's perfect. You're great. The sword is great. And you're great. You know what? And he slams the goal down. Give me it. I'm so tiny. You're oh. still great. One oh, tip. Thank you. It's off table. Take this so I can buy <laughs> the next horrible. traveling children off their parents. <laughs> that's plenty you of money. Want Oh, Slice off table Mike falls into hole. Oh. <laughs> God. Hey, uh, Winter, I'm actually too broke to buy that. I bought way uh. too many red potions to buy that. No, oh, you uh. ran out of money. That sounds unfortunate. Hmm. You know what? Uh, would you like to have a competition? Let's. You want to bet some money? You look strong. Shall we try arm wrestle? Uh, uh, sure, with you? I am trunk hands, and you said you're trunk nobody. I'm Trunk splitter. Same thing. All right. I mean, let's go then. How much do you yeah. have? How much are you willing to Trunk lose? Bus. Uh, uh, twelve platinum. You know what? Oh, yeah, I'll risk it. Twelve platinum. That's all. That's all I have. You know what? Actually, I do have this, and he's gonna lay down the weapon of certain death, longsword. Hmm. And just for player knowledge, this this vendor will give you thirty seven percent of the price of the weapon if you just sell it to him. You can actually sell it to him. He'll buy whatever you get out of that thirty. Just trunk heads. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well then, are you ready? I'm ready. And he like just like scoots Winter off the table, just like nope, <laughs> just <laughs> just scoots it off so his space. <laughs> he puts his left hand up. He's all lefty. All right, lefty Lucy, let's go, mate. Perfect. Then he, <laughs> so he he will um put his arm up, and so now both of you will roll uh, athletics checks with disadvantage because you're using left hands, and neither of you are left-handed. I'm pretty sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oops, oops, my bad. Okay, let's see. Uh, 16. That was a disadvantage. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. So he's all, 
Hmm, let's go. And so you put your hands up together, you clasp them in each other's hands. And the minute he's like, three? One. Two. And then he's just okay. goes to slam it, and you're just able to react so quickly with just, you are astronomically stronger than him. They call him trunk hands, not trunk arm. So he just <laughs> literally just slam his hand into the table. He's like, ah, that hurts my arm. Mm. Ow. Oh. Ow. Yeah, all right, mate. I literally was going easy on you. It was I'm... my left hand. What? That that was me going easy on you. I just didn't want to insult you in front of your friends. You right, you right, you right. So I could have that sword, right? <sighs> Fine. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you, trunk hands. Yes, yes. <laughs> So <laughs> <No> offended. Yeah. <laughs> He's all. Still have my wand. A wand, you say? Wait till you want that wand. Oh my god. Which wand? Uh, which wand, sword? Wand, wand. Uh, which sword are you trying to take, Twig? Uh, the great sword of sharpness. I'm pretty sure is what. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is one want that I would want. One one want want want. <laughs> one, I'm like from the side of the counter. <laughs> <laughs> one want that I would want. Wanting one want would would want. No, not would want. It's a want. I think it's a magical want. It, it's wood. It's not though. a wood want. But it's wood, isn't it? Winter wood want one one. Less of winter and put back on the, <laughs> the desk. <laughs> Just let uh, myself get pushed. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. What? So, what do you want? Want? The wand. One? I want the wand. One wand? One wand. <laughs> what wand? This is terrible. <laughs> Great content, you guys. Okay, make sure to follow. <laughs> we'll get a hernia. Make sure to follow, and uh, if you can, just get us some subs, you know? Yeah, we really do deserve it. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that one. Why wouldn't I want that one? That one seems like a great one to have. Can you roll me an intelligence check, Winter? <laughs> you could be, if you would be so kind, please, yes, to, to roll me that intelligence check. I just want to make sure. I mean, I have 14 intelligence. Like, Winter is not yeah. stupid. I... Apparently he is. Seven. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the second five I've rolled. <laughs> Seven. So, uh, yeah, you can see that Winter uh, speaks in such a manner that is so unintelligible and confusing that Jess Trunkhands just starts to foam with the mouth a little bit. <laughs> you know? oh, mate. Oh. Mate. If you uh, help, if you help me out, sticky fingers. I'll put them meat with you. Can I have that one, please? Uh. No, the shop's closed. Go away. And he goes and like lays on all his weapons. I'm gonna reach into my bag and I'm gonna take out the um the the charred horse meat. Please. Okay. Uh, you can roll persuasion with advantage. I'm gonna use inspiration on that one. Well, buckshot, if you want it, what do you need from me? Dirty thirty. Okay, so J trunk hands will <laughs> hang, will look at winter and just be like, it "Smells like horse." Uh huh. Oh, and horse meat. And you can just look in the corner and you just hear like the horse making droppings in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. Oh. <laughs> 
Those are um, those What's are that chair? Those are two smells <laughs> I did not want to mix. Mm. But I'm hungry, so what's up? Mm. What did you want from me? No, not from you. The wand. No, I, I have one wand. What are you offering? Yeah. It is expensive. I know its value. Mm. Mm. Well, if look you at twig. If you, <laughs> if you, if you turn me. No, if you turn into me, maybe something else I can eat besides you, but something maybe like you, that would be great. It, provide me with something of value that I would enjoy, maybe something rare. What about him? And I point a twig. Yes. He will allow me to eat him. Have this one. <gasps> what about a Minotaur? Oh, we did capture one recently. Yeah, his arm, a delicacy. I. It's oh mine, fuck you. <laughs> no, we, need, we need this wand. Huh. It's a plus three wand. Are, are, are you talking about the. Are you talking about the. That plus yes. three wand of the war mage? Yes. Oh my fuck. It, that it's, one. it's a 25,000 gold item. Like, it's not meant for you. <laughs> I don't care. I want it. Even with his oh discount God. that he's given you, it's like eleven thousand five hundred. I know. You guys have I like have a grand. Eight hundred. <laughs> you have like ten percent of what's worth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> but I want it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Can so I pull this off? How much of it? How much of a? How, how? What? So. Mm -hmm. Quick question: Where would one find a uh, a a focus, an arcade focus? A focus? Uh, you can look. I, I believe that Sticky Fingers has an emblem. Sticky Fingers does not have an emblem. I'm pretty sure one of them does, though. Mm. Nope, neither of them. Cool. <laughs> But like a focus is like easy to find, right? Uh, it would be, but they just seem to not have one. Can I pull this off? How smart? How smart does this guy seem? Well, you talking made him foam at the mouth, so you know, trunk hands is not got a lot going for him. You can roll insight if you really want to know. How oh, can I pull this off? Oh my god, they might want to. They might gonna try and. <clears throat> I mean, be careful, you just... You, uh, you roll, roll. Okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Hmm. Yes. Good Good plan. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was thinking about... Uh, okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Basil, a butterfly lands on your back. Mm. You're still okay, asleep, cool. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, nice. What about... Is there any kind of meat you've always wanted to try. Hmm. Yes. There is one that I've wanted to try, especially recently. What? Have you ever had goat's meat before? Yes. Is that the truth? Does you can roll like inside. He's foaming at the mouth again. At the <laughs> you can roll idea inside. of saying that. Does he seem like he wants let's, to? Let's see what he looks like. I mean, looking at him, he just let's looks he like looks. a lizard folk to you. Yeah. Oh, dirty twenty. Um, it. I mean, he's he seems to not be foaming at the mouth for goat meat. But when he goes back and mentions Seder again, you can kind of see like a, what you think is a sparkle in it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna... Okay. If I... Bring you back... A chunk... Of satyr meat. Can I have that? And I point at the wand. And I'm talking about a chunk. What is a chunk? Like... Like an entire <laughs> this... hand? Or like his thigh? <laughs> this... This main... main wait, almost main coon sized cat is just like... Like this. Puts the hands away from me. Oh, I'm frozen. Cool. 
Roll persuasion. Come on, dice. <laughs> Are they going to be trusting nice? you now? Come on, dice. Ooh, that was a close 26. Two. Mm. Bring it to me, and then we'll discuss the possibility. But I don't think you can get one anyway. Um, give me like an hour. Max. And I just jump off the counter and stop walking out outside. I'm gonna take that one later then. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Twig, you just stood there and watched that whole conversation happen. Huh? Twig is like just like kinda of carving with the sort of sharpness in the wood, just like, this thing is short. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like the table's always broken. Why are you adding salt to the wound? <laughs> I'm giving it character buckshot. You know what? <laughs> Go ahead. Has I found a problem with my current like sitting situation? I have way too much space to just move and like <laughs> just not wobble sit around. Still. Like I can't sit still. <laughs> What oh, do I do? Oh, no, I'm frozen. <laughs> I know that mood. <laughs> oh, uh, Sticky Fingers uh, was talking to you, Buckshot, and he's like, what do you need, Buckshot? Oh, yeah. That's right. You walked away. Um. <laughs> you want the horse? No. Oh, no, yeah. I already ate. That's right. You're working for Pantavis, huh? And you're part of the tribe. I'll give you mm -hmm. 70. I'll give you chunk off. Only one quarter price for you. How much are you willing to give for that club over there? The, are you plus, are you pointing at the the plus three club? Yeah. Oh well. No, this club is. Oops. Oops. Never mind. Oh, sorry. Ignore that. Tweet, get off here. Sorry. Sorry. Quite expensive. I'm sure, you can see from the amount of thorns that it has. And it has like. Thorn. <laughs> <laughs> this is four more thorns than the regular club. It's quite special. I see that. Only two thorns, that's just sad. Four thousand gold. <clears throat> Bringing it to a discount. For what do you say? Or what do you have to offer? I did have some dwarven plates, but I don't know where that went. Interesting story. Not really. What else do you have to trade? We'd be interested in this animated shield. <laughs> Only slightly. Would be interested in that cat, though. Mmm. Smells. There. No, oh, no. smells medium rare. Take away that. No. Can't do it. Oh, no. Oh, 
Hey chat, we are, we're gonna need some inspiration here. He's on chat. Lie. We're gonna need inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> wink, wink. Didn't I distribute inspiration to you guys at the end of the last round, last game? What inspiration? Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't done that with Feywild, huh? No, okay. No, we we, you, we kind of forget about it. We're like, yeah, let's do so that, and then we. You guys have four points of inspiration to distribute amongst each other. You guys didn't decide how to do it. I usually do it at the end of the camp of the episode, but I just forget every time. So that's four points. That was a D six. So four points oh. for you guys to distribute amongst yourselves as you wish. Think about that, while Sticky Fingers continues to stare uncomfortably at Buckshot. Ooh. What else can you offer? Something I can't easily get my hands on, perhaps. Well, I I do have some news. News that uh that may have uh, that that may have changed all. Uh, that may make our boss Pentavis, huh? Change positions. Changing positions for you? Maybe, yes. And I'm sure um, there will be a lot of uh, leftovers. Hydrate. Thank you, Booyah. We'll definitely hydrate. <laughs> hydrate, you guys. After the event. All right. There you do it. There you go, little buddy. I got the little animation for a store Aww. redemption. Uh, uh, Look at that. <laughs> All the goodies. Filling <laughs> up. Okay. Mm -mm. Roll of persuasion. You hate Pendavis. Anything to mess up his day. Fair. Persuasion. Fair. He's <laughs> unfair. <So> <laughs> Basil would agree too, so. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. 22. 22. It's not, it's not my greatest wall. Alright, Buckshot. I know you go into the field. If your information is good, I'll give you the club. So, what is it? And he kind of just leans in and just like his tongue slithers next to your ear hole. Wait, what? That's weird. Whoa. That is weird. Whoa, person of oh, space, so buddy. No. Cannon. I was like already just like, <laughs> just listen and then it's like, oh, never mind. Oh. Yeah, just, I'm gonna, I'm just still here. here piss it's off. another level. Yeah, just it goes all winter here, piss off. <laughs> oh my, it's getting hot. Let's go, winter. <laughs> what? Protect the child. <laughs> <laughs> this is going up business. <laughs> God. We're all saying things in draconic, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nope. What is the information? Tell me, Buckshot. Ah. Uh, we, uh, we may have a, ch a chance of relieving the missus of madness of her duties. Speak it of. turns out there's another heir that can wield that wields a moon blade. Um. Speak of treason. Your friends are still standing there, but shut they might. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Went uh, come on, Winter. Let's go. Let's go find. Uh, let's go find Basil. Mm. <laughs> Magic I... quick trick just grabs Winter. <laughs> just one. Want to 
to listen. He's not don't. a dragon, don't worry. Tell me of this but, treason. No, he's not. <laughs> you know, if I tell anyone right now, they would head you and devour your innards, right? This is big information. I'm shocked. Yes, yes. But this might be a chance for everyone to uh, better fate from this new ruler. What's wrong? You know how he is. Mad with power, executing people left and right. And what makes you think the next one will work? <laughs> Let's just say it'll make great use. They'll make. He'll make great use of uh, all benefits. Roll a persuasion check. Come on, make money. With disadvantage because it's treason. Come on, big money. <laughs> I'm gonna burn two inspiration. You're gonna, you just got the inspiration points. <laughs> You're gonna burn them already. And they have to go, CJ. They have to go. Don't okay. You two points inspiration makes uh, it a um, what's it called thing? Plus five. Plus five? Look down. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. 19. Uh, 19. That's noise. That's noise. Not bad. 19. I don't know, Buckshot. Well, maybe if you think it might work in the field a little bit more than I have, but I never heard anything you just said. No, look, a distraction on this wall. Oh. It would be really unfortunate if this club were to disappear from my desk right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's kind of yes. Nice to pick it up. Oh. So, so sticky fingers will then. Okay, so Buckshot, you're just looking at it. He's still looking at the wall. I'm gonna pick up the pick up the plus three club and leave behind a uh, uh, hundred platinum. That is ten thousand gold. That is like twice the price that a, you asked yeah, you yeah. for. It's, well, it's, it's a thousand. A thousand, it's a thousand gold. gold. A hundred platinum is a thousand, thousand gold. It's not that we don't Did have I that just... much money. One wow, my brain. Gold. That math was so off. Wow. I don't listen to me when it comes to math. Stuff I want, like me, it's not now for this. You know, Did I, I was off by one zero, which is an odd. It's fine. You're a sleepy old man. It's okay. Speaking of which, Twig goes up to Basil and goes, hey, Oh man! Oh man, you can't be sleeping out in the streets, come on now! Uh, from inside his shell, you just hear, every, like, <laughs> echoing... <laughs> <sighs> Twig reaches below and picks up Basil's shell and carries him. Um, while they were shopping, uh, I wanted to see if I could in my sleep, just instinctually cast uh, Divination <laughs> to see if I could get a dream about this plan that we are about to get ourselves into. So that's how Druid's Lucid Dream, huh? Interesting. <laughs> that's, yes. Aww. Instead of a demon, we have our d d deities, which is almost worse. No, Lucid Dream and not Sleep Paralysis. 
because it, demons keep their promises. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it would be cool if I could. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think that's pretty cool. How about you roll a wisdom check and let's see if it comes out in you. Sounds good. Ooh. We'll see. Hopefully. Ooh. <laughs> 50? Okay. 50? Sure. okay. You will you will uh, have a dream, have a lucid dream while uh, while taking a nap in the grass as it grew over you, and the butterfly must have inspired this. What? Yeah. There's a butterfly on his back, and it's, it might be a magical fae butterfly. We don't know. Close to My a fae. Characters, every oh. character that I've had with Siege has had a history with butterflies. <laughs> the only common thread is that up till now they all died. Uh, so I'm worried. Hey, look, a snack. Yup, uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, turtle shoes out. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so do I cast divination or do I just get a dream? Well, it, it, it's, a, it's a cast, but you're gonna rest anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's gonna okay. So, so it's it's a, right. it is divination, which is it's just it's a, in dream form. So, um, okay. what is the thing you are trying to dream of, though? I am trying to. Uh, to be like a yeah, a goal event or something in the next seven days. Yes, I am trying to ask if the plan that we have come up with, how the plan that we have come up with will go down, essentially. In the dream, um, you see a younger version of yourself. Okay. And the younger version walks up to you, looks at you in the face, puts his hand on your shoulder, and then just slaps you, and then walks Ooh. away. Oh, all right. Sounds <laughs> good, man. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, they are very helpful. <laughs> Damn. Ever had an idea so bad that your younger self comes to you and slaps you? <laughs> that's <I'm> Laz. The... <laughs> yes. <No. laughs> yes, that's like, you clearly... Good I mean, Good it wasn't word. my idea that I was asking about because it wasn't my plan, but it was the group's plan, so technically, yes. Part of the crew, part of the group, part of the soup, you know, that thing. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, turtle soup, what, yes. What, Buckshot, why, what are you punching? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, old man. Oh my no! god! <laughs> he punches the old man. <laughs> I think your AC is, isn't it 19 too? Uh, my AC is 19, yeah. Oh, so you take one point of bludgeon damage as he slaps that's, you across the face. That's Can cool, I'm even closer to death to now. Yeah, you're yeah you're a large cat. I'm sure you could. I wouldn't go into the alley though. That uh, that lizard folk is kind of staring at you. And there's a little bit of drool. I just want to sneak away from my group. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, uh, where are you going, Winter? Wh oh, uh -huh. Said I want to sneak away. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, aren't you on twig? Aren't you on twig? I am sneaking. <laughs> That invisibility is cast on the reaver. So let's yes. see if you continue to... <laughs> no. Uh. There's now a reaver in the town. You should have not done Maybe. that. You just we hear screams on the distance. Oh, yes, God. there is now a reaver in the town. Okay. A crew thing. No, reaver. Jesus. Well, reaver is his name. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking... It's yep. a so, reaver. Yeah. So Fuck. It's a crew thick. Reaver, reaver is a crew thick. Well, it's a crew... Uh, so you just we... you just hear screaming and you can see um you can see some lizard folk uh running out from one of the alleyways. Okay. As this uh, and then you just hear like a sc that screech you heard before before the combat with with Tavon. Um and it essentially you could just see Reaver kind of just reappear uh, to the north towards the Fey Gate from you guys. It just screams and then it looks over at Red Tooth and Red Tooth is just like uh uh, he just starts running to the north as well and runs into the into the uh, the embassy, and you can see Reaver <laughs> sprint into the embassy after him. No, that's where I was going. Ignore this. I'm just trying to see if I wake up. 
Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I... yes. So, what do the rest of you do? Since obviously Basil's gonna stay asleep. So <laughs> I, I was gonna seek away, and I was gonna go there where now this shit's going on. You guys, are you, are you reacting to this? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm uh, saying, Twig... you guys, what do you guys do? It. Yep. Hmm? Twiggy is shaking Basil's shell like. Basil, Basil, we have a situation. Ah, I'm on my rack. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, ah. Okay. All right. He sets the shell down on the floor. Okay. I just continue shaking for a little bit. Instead of sneaking, I just full on sprint. Okay. So you just hear inside. Uh, you're, you know, you guys, at, even just full on sprinting. Um, gonna hear Pentavis. Just, what in the fuck is that? <laughs> the moment I'm within touch reach of the Kruthik, mm -hmm. I'm going to twin cast Great Invisibility on the Kruthik of myself. Okay. Ooh. All right, then. And then disappears, and you disappear. And Tavis oh. is sitting there staring at Buckshot. <clears throat> and I I'm going jazz hands like magic. <laughs> Roll performance. <laughs> <laughs> well, while he does that, I want to sneak up to Pentavis and I'm going to bite his leg. What? What just happened? 22, he is distracted, me. so I will give you a sleight of hand check, Winter. Well, I guess you don't need to slide a hand check to bite I'm, his leg. I'm great at invisibility. Not even biting him will make me visible. I literally, I just... I'm, yeah. well, well, I'm already invisible, which was part of my plan, but, well, not like this, but okay. I'm just gonna real fast walk up to him, <laughs> bite him in the leg, get a good taste for it, and then try and find... The, and then um, cast message to the crew, think, follow me! Outside! You can't see me! Roll animal handling. Oh no! And run out. <laughs> okay, roll an animal handling check to see if you can uh, convince the creature to, to move on with you. That is an 18. Okay. Uh, that's with disadvantage. I forgot to say. What if I use some, 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 uh, lizard folk meat too? Okay, then you can keep that roll. You're running out of meat, though. You're almost out at this point. You've used yeah, so much. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I need I need to kill more people. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so you, you took a bite of Pentavis, uh, but, I mean, you it's just a bite, so you get the taste of him? Okay. Yeah, that that's what I needed. Perfect. Uh, yeah, then you well, you definitely have a taste of it. Uh, can you roll... Uh, let's see, what is that? You have a bite attack? I don't think I do. I don't know. I I I use the uh, custom lineage, so. Ah. Yeah. Oh okay. no. So, it's just straight unarmed. Then. So it doesn't even do any damage. <laughs> it's just like, instead of biting, you're just like. Ow, and like sucking on him? Uh, you. you no, I that guess. Is, yeah, that. Yep. Well, I need to get the taste of his flesh. <laughs> so yeah, you're just sucking on his leg. Why? Well, I'm gonna cut him with a dagger. I don't know. <laughs> Run up to him. I do some damage. I taste the, the, the flesh. <laughs> So, why do this I come is back so to this? Weird. Why do I come back here? <laughs> <laughs> I stop the, I'm like, why am I here? Yeah. AOL Follies, every Wednesdays. God. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry about that, Pintavis. We've um, gone for an hour and you guys uh, have done nothing. <laughs> I, I think we just, we just done a lot of things in the last two minutes. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. I I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, Fuzzy Bunny makes, says, make sure that you Sit up straight. Oh, wow. Joke's on you. you I'm already run. sitting up straight this time. I guess we're talking Boom. to Ty today. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and hydrate. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh no. Guys, I'm no, running out of beverage. She got me. She got me. <laughs> Where's your beverage? 
Oh. I have a whole bottle. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, party. So then. Oh, yeah. So, sorry about that, Tavis. I was having a talk with one of the fairies. We, we, we wanted to put on a grand show. <laughs> small execution. <laughs> He's just like, hmm. Well, when. Control your winged friends or whatever. I mean, it's... Off, get out of my building. <laughs> or I change my mind and I hang Why? you or something. Fuzzy yes, Bunny. My apologies, my apologies. Really fast. Fuzzy Bunny just gave an inspiration to Crescendo. Wait, to Crescendo? He's not <laughs> even here. <laughs> he's, not, <laughs> he's the well, one player who's not here today. Even right, when he's not here, he's hey, still the favorite player. Hey, Aaron, if you're watching or when you watch this, yeah, you get a point of inspiration. No. And he has a lot to catch up to. <laughs> he's not even fucking well, I have here. no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Yikes. So Pentavis just shoes you all out. Uh, Reaver leaves. Um, Winter. I mean, you have the taste of his blood now. He is slightly injured. He kind of shakes it off. Downs a healing potion as you, as, as you leave. You can see him do that, and uh, the rest of you are back outside. <laughs> and since I am absolutely confused, oh, Buckshot! There you see this. This one makes sense, because Buckshot, you get a point oh. inspiration. You're actually here today, so you do deserve <laughs> By the way, I'm down to one point of inspiration because I used two, and you forgot to take them away from me, apparently. Again? A second time? No, it's I didn't get them. No, nope. yes, did you I? did. Check your chat. I you guys chose. I'm, three. I have yeah. to go. I'm an I'm a, I'm a fucking I can DM, idiot. don't worry. <laughs> I mean, sometimes a little, little help. You're doing such a great job, usually. I'm not the I'm one who turned invisible to chase down a Kruthik into this guy's embassy who let him get loose in the first place. I don't want the Kruthik to die. Fair He's enough. so sweet. Such a what? sweetie. He just terrified the lizard folk. Oh, so what? Exactly. Oh, go. Oh. Thank you very much, Fuzzy Bunny. You deserve Big. some homemade chocolate. <laughs> Thank you, Gilga. So what? He, he, he terrified them. I mean... Buckshot, you get another, it's my a friend. Folk. That'll be fine. Oh, heck yeah. Everybody likes you players being on three. Like, I just, I don't. Yeah, they're like, you know what? That's a good. That's a good amount it's, of work. It's... They can use some. They're not immediately out. It's, it's a, a good. It's a nice even number. It's definitely not even. It. <laughs> it's an odd number. <laughs> oh no. no, no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh wait, Winter! Are you okay? There was a reason why I wanted to stay asleep. Hey, Winter, <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, you're up to four. That is an even number. That yeah, that, saying. that is an even Hi, number. Honey, What's... Sweetie, are you okay? No. Do you need a break? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh, is that a hint? Oh, is that a hint? I think that's a hint because it's probably time for our break. <laughs> 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 so so Tell on me. that fun note you guys we'll be right uh, back in about seven minutes so uh stay tuned to get your drinks and do your own thing and then come on back in about seven all right yes and welcome back in as Nettie is drowning herself in her beverage hydrating is important welcome back to it's a crit i am cj uh just saying hello again here with you know Nettie, ty um chris and dom aaron is absent hello. but still receiving points of inspiration for some reason thank you v random viewers um <laughs> So, on that note, party, we're li we left off right now. Winter, you just made the Kruthik invisible because Reaver escaped and uh, because Basil was asleep and got punched by Chris. <laughs> that was a big mess. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, so Buckshot <laughs> walked up to the sleeping Basil who was concentrate. Wait, you were, well, you were like half asleep. Let's say you're not really asleep because if you were really asleep, you would have lost concentration long ago. Yeah. But, like, I just didn't want anyone to bother me, so I pretended, <laughs> pretended just to snow really asleep. that late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see Basil. I just saw like a butterfly in a bush and I went for the you, butterfly. You, totally you, just asked, <laughs> you just asked an artificer to like make a little gadget that just makes your snoring sound. You think you can turn on and off. <laughs> just echo in the shell. Just like put it right here next to the shell so it echoes off of it. So it sounds like it's real. Absolutely. Actually leaves his, his shell to just walk around in like a bathrobe and just puts the snoring in so that no one <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. That okay. so cursed. So right now we leave. We just left off, and so right now Winter and Kruthik, the or Reaver, the Kruthik is asleep. Thanks, Ty, for confusing the shit out of me. Now I'm just backwards in my own world. Um, Kruthik the Reaver. Kruthik the Reaver, for him. 
Who I want one want and want. Um, no. Are we like we're, we're like the adults from the Peanuts. Oh god. I'm pretty sure that's what Winter sounded like to uh, the am... fucking lizard folk. Wah wah wah. Eat me, eat me, eat me, eat me, eat me, eat me. I just realized that I have to change the container of my beverage. Oh, good lord. I'll drink up my tea, oh my and we'll just fill it up with more tea. What just happened? I don't Nothing. know. I you have a teapot right underneath your desk there. Uh, yes, I, I do. Don't. I'm glad you noticed. So, on that note, uh, yes, uh, party, what are you... <laughs> we are lost. Party, this is what happens when you're in the Feywild too long, or close to it, because it just really gets a hold of you, you guys. So, viewers, beware of the Feywild. It is a scary, weird-ass place. Oh. All right, so far, where are yes. you? Where are you now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get Reaver out of the town. I'm gonna just run with Reaver to the edge of town, following the. I don't know where's the closest edge of town. Uh, it'll be south. Ah, sh shoot. Um. Guess we're going south. Okay. So it just kind of like shakes his head and goes. Uh, just faces function because did you just slap me? <laughs> uh, where, where were you? Uh, I, I just ran in the direction that everyone ran, I guess. Because I was just no, I like, was where were you? Be... Like, you were a bush, so. Yeah, I don't know. No, I am pretty. I am fairly sad that I'm still a turtle. <laughs> wow. Perfect. I think I would know if I was a bush. <laughs> oh. What the hell did that thing go then? <laughs> <laughs> what? Anywho. Hey, if I answer my question, did you slap me? Wet tooth. It's gone. <laughs> Red tooth, yeah. Red, red tooth is like hiding inside. Yeah, he he disappeared. He ran up the stairs inside of the uh, embassy. I don't know where I'm, yeah. I'm, what I'm waiting for. I'm so... Okay. Wait, I just just come over here. I need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm gonna embezzle. I return the slap. <laughs> <laughs> Back of the head, just. Whoosh. Yeah. Right, Twig, so you stand there witnessing Basil and Buckshot just slapping each other, apparently. <laughs> Uh, okay, Basil. Uh, we're sorry for waking you up from your nap. And he tries to like pick up Basil by his shell and kind of carry him over to like a somewhere where they can sleep. Please look message. for some. That's so heavy oh. as fuck. I don't know <laughs> if you would be able to just. How heavy is he? Because he's an orc. Like, what's your ringtone? Because you are getting a message. Um. Uh... <laughs> Hi. It will okay. be the Nokia old ringtone. That ding, but ding, 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 ding. It just, just. Hello? Um, south, set of town. I think Reaver's with me. Not sure. We're invisible. Uh, okay, Basil, we are going to south of town, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Just... What are you talking about? Where, What's where going go? on? Why did you slap me? Time. I didn't slap you. I'm picking you up. Why are you picking me up? Because Buckshot slapped you, and you're being cranky, and you need a nap. <laughs> you need a nap. I was taking a nap, and then you <laughs> slapped me. No, Buckshot <laughs> slapped you. I did nothing. <laughs> then why are you picking me up? Cause you need a nap, Basil. I was having a nap, a very nice nap. And we're gonna about to take a nap, Basil. Shh. This is the second. This is the second time that I get slapped in like I'm ten not, minutes. You bit haven't been slapped. I'm just picking you up, Basil. Shoot, what was in? Right. What was in a dream? I think that doesn't count. But I'm counting it for the purposes of I've been slapped. You have been slapped. We'll beat up Buckshot later, okay? After our nap. There we go. I'm gonna suck that. Okay. 
Uh, oh. CJ, check your Discord. <clears throat> CJ looks. CJ <laughs> look, the whole time looked the way I, fe I, I felt. <laughs> what? Done. <laughs> ah, got it. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Disappointed, to be honest. Done and disappointed. <laughs> Always a pleasure. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's what we're all here for, let's be honest. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So, now that you have that out of your system, party, what are you going to do? <laughs> well. Uh, Twig is going to try to take Basil to the south where. Winter has messaged them to stay, and if they can, they're going to do a, a rest. A nice long oh. rest. Okay, so... Uh, Hopefully. Never mind. Okay, so it looks like uh, Winter, Twig, and Basil head towards the south, out of the town to hunt and then rest. Um, Basil is completely yeah, able to walk, like... but just refuses to. <clears throat> he, like... <laughs> His, head, his arms and legs are just inside the shell again. It's just his head out. Like, just walking. Twitch is carrying Basil. Just like, come on, come on. Where's okay. that smile? He's like, I got woken up. Fuck this. <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna take a long rest, but before that, we have a couple. Or I have a couple more things to do. Okay, uh, so before we get to those, uh, then we will, Red Tooth will come down the stairs to Buckshot and see Pentavis, and Pentavis is just sitting there still just downing health potions. <laughs> Wait, several? He just continues no, to drink them. Ow, awesome. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. You can see Red Tooth just kind of like lips his lips, just. <laughs> Hi, Buckshot. Ah, uh, Red Tooth. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where is, um, uh, our prisoner? Prisoner? Uh, and he looks over at Pintavis. Why are you Hold looking on. at me? What? The Minotaur. Oh, the Minotaur, the one you're going to kill in the morning. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, let me tell you. In the morning, I will tell you. Actually, I don't think you need to know right now. Right, Red Tooth? Does Bookshot need to know? Uh. Bookshot, do you need to know? Yes, um, cer certainly. I he says certainly. We have, we have to does. make sure he's in, uh, presentable for tomorrow. Uh. You know how beaten up he was when we sent him here? Roll persuasion. Uh, you can have an advantage with that because Pentavis likes likes that. Kind of stuff. He likes the statement of dressing up. Oh, eat my shorts, what? I guess. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. He's a, oh, well, you mean you want to dress him up? Oh, I love it. Yes. Ah, wonderful idea. Well then, let me tell Red Tooth, please take him immediately to the prison. Because that sounds like a fantastic idea, and I cannot believe I have not thought of it sooner. What better way to be beheaded than in your best attire? Oh. Off. It'll be stylish and spectacular. Oh, stylish and spectacular. Oh, Buckshot, we have to have a conversation. Ah, after you behead him in the morning, I, I think there's a promotion in line for you. We should talk. Oh, there'll be more than that. Oh, he's like, oh, the ambition, I like it. Yes, that's wonderful. Can you, you roll a deception? Can you roll sky. a deception check? Not that you're lying, but uh, he's you know, trying to peer into your soul. Because every time you, you know. <laughs> I'm always used to that. Ooh. So he just sort of clasps oh, his hands and he just like. Raises, you know, oh, great, great. I'm so looking forward to that conversation. Oh, off, off now. Go. Shoo. I have to tend to my wounds. He just keeps chugging some health potions. Every time that I hear this guy talk, I just get the urge to fight something. 
<laughs> Winter's right next I to you. Can. Oh. No, me. I <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so Red Tooth will go off and show you. Uh, he'll take you around to the opposite side, um, where uh, Oznan being held. You'll see uh, across the town. Uh, across the <laughs> like we lizard folk do yeah so you can see that there are uh, there is a multitude of just lizard folk armed here with various weapons which appear to be some are lizard folk in nature and some appear to be well uh, finely forged steel uh possibly uh even uh leftovers of the weapons taken from any of the very few deserted that or adventurers um they're all standing around, and you can see that in this building, the wall is torn down in front of you, and there appears to be a door right behind it. And Red Tooth will look to you, Buckshot. Oh, well, he's in that room. It wasn't armory before. You know. Wall. So now, that's where they put him. Ah, there's, there's only yeah. one way in, and there was a second door, but they sealed it. So, you know, you might be able to... Uh, Sealed by just a bunch of like rocks on the other side. I guess that's another. This is the main door. But they've been watching him nonstop, like owl folk, for a couple of days. For for since you brought him, actually, hours ago. Oh yes, yes. A couple yes. days ago. Ah. Uh, I. Um, this, uh, this matter concerns you as well, Wet Tooth, since you also Bye. have a lot of experience in this town. What am I supposed to do? Uh, come with me. You need to hear the news as well. Oh, okay. But the windows are open and the walls are I guess it's nothing you can't say in front of our brethren, right? Yes. Yes. A song is it's out of earshot, Pentavis. And then as you're as you're walking into the building, some of the lizard folk outside, you just hear them kind of sitting there chatting to each other and just like, yeah. No, Pentavis is just God, he always dresses so majestically, doesn't he? And all we're stuck with is his loincloths, man. I hope I can be like that one day. Maybe if we just you know, obey the commands, he'll give us enough money to buy from the, some of the travelers. Well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I think that Pentavis pays fairly. You kind of get the feeling that not all lizard folk are... Okay. So, it's a it's a door here, or should it's, I it's open a... it first? No. Well, he's in the room. You can't enter there. Not into, There's we have or well, they have orders. Kind of looking at the guys hanging around in the street right over there, right net, like right outside, twenty feet away. So they have orders to let anyone in until <laughs> until the morning. We heard that you were going to be the one to behead him. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll be fun. Maybe Pentavis will reward you. I mean, especially after this attack, we're definitely down a few. So what did you want to tell me, Buckshot? Uh. <laughs> He's all, I'll get back to you in a minute. He's all, let me look. <laughs> That's so mean. It's like, <laughs> tell me now. What do you want to say? Huh? <laughs> I'm going to cast a mold earth on this wall here to make a small opening. You know, like speak through. What? 
Mold Earth. Stone Wall. That's, that's a stretch. It's beyond the scope of of Mold Earth. Uh, the, the 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 idea of it is more of like uh. That's the one of the five foot square, right? Yeah, where you can move it around and manipulate yeah. it. Yeah. So it should be like loose dirt, technically, more so than a stone wall. But well, let's see where you're going with it. You get just a little bit between the cracks. Some of the dirt kind of gets loose, right? And um, especially because it's been attacked recently, uh, it's easier to manipulate. So you're kind of able to just not even necessarily see through, but you know that you can kind of hear Oznan kind of just breathing in the background. All right, then. Ah. Uh. Gre greetings, Osdon. Don't keep your voice down, Buckshot. What are you doing? You're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> I'll order us to keep him in there, not talk to him. Yes, not talk to him. You're right. Oh. Uh, who is it? Piss off. It's a uh, buckshot. You know oh. the ones. They'll send after you. I don't know who you are. We were there when you were disarmed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stupid orc. Well fought battle. Well fought, but... By now, Tavan has done what he needed to. You have failed. He doesn't know. He was part of the first, I know. He was I the know. first I encounter. Like, he has no idea. We have news for you, dude. We have news, but like, how do you? Oh my god, Buckshot. What did you do? <laughs> how do we tell him that we want to break him out now? After putting him in there. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on here. Hang on. I would say I'm on the edge of my seat, but I'm on the floor. So. <laughs> it's your floor. You're head of the game. Already off the chair, early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tell me, why are you so loyal to Alvon? I have nothing to say to you. But if you must know, Tavon is simply incredible. He saved me, and I owe him my love. They saved you, you say. Yes. And then he just knocks, and he's kind of like laying down on some shields. Just like propped up in an incline, just like laying there. And he just knocks on one of his legs, and you realize one of the legs is actually made of of, uh, of a hollowed steel. Or maybe some sort of metal, perhaps adamantium or mithril. Wow. They don't call me single hook for no reason. He just chuckles to himself and then just continues with his eyes closed. <laughs> um. Let me let me tell a little story about loyal loyalty. Hmm. Like a lizard folk know what the word means. <clears throat> a simple little story that we passed on from generations to generation. Grandpa, the grandmother, the grand. Oh, hi, back again. <laughs> he just kind of opens his eyes for a moment. <laughs> Closes his eyes again. Game's <laughs> <laughs> up out of <laughs> your confusion. <laughs> you see, uh, before we were the Sacred Heart, you know, the Guardians of the Queen's Wood. 
We... We were nothing. Forced out of our homes by an unknown force that has uh, made us travel from place to place. Before we uh, found this place, drawn to it by its powerful magic. Uh. Hmm. So we call this place home. Offered uh, tributes to the grand, grand tree. Until uh, she appeared. The one that uh, we lizard folk um, sworn loyalty to. Do you know who, who she was? You have an idea who she was. Hmm. None that I would tell you. Um, it was certainly wasn't the mistress of madness, or the exiled heir. Him. It was the. It was the mother. The Heart of Gold, Queen of the Feywilds of herself. She's taught us many things. Um, how the wield magic of, of the wild. Uh, craft and store our own food. And uh, we all all of our lives to her. And so on that day, well, one day we made a promise with her. Um, that we would stay here and guard the tree and the fa and their family. And in return, their family will help us out to survive, even thrive. Yes, the mother of Minerva and Tavon. Tavon. <laughs> yes, the two heirs of the Queen of the Feywild. Tavon does not speak of Est. Well, there's a lot of things, but we lizard folk don't speak as well. So, but, you're telling me that uh, complicates things. How because... so? You see, he's opened one we eye and is kind of looking towards you. Go ahead. Do uh, we promise to uh, protect the family, and they will protect us. But it would seem that the mother and son, have both uh, the daughter and the son, couldn't keep that promise. That, the promise that we held on for nearly 500 years? Impressive enough, humanoid lizards. What does this have to do with me? Why are you telling a dying minotaur? I heard they're beheading me tomorrow, trying to enjoy my last moments of peace. 
Whether you live or not might depend on you. I have no fear of death. I will not sell out Tavon. Mm. So tell us, convince us even. Why are you helping Tavon um, overthrow his sister? Why are you helping murderer replace another one? <laughs> a murderer. I do not know what lies this mistress of madness has spread about him, but... Tavon is not evil. Tavon. Tavon is good. He is the only lies. family that I have known. What lies? Or... We, the lizard folk, witnessed them ourselves. Though I was human once. Long ago. Let me tell you this story. Perhaps it will shine light. Long ago, I was. Artificer. I had a small shop. In a humble town. Hey, there were reports of children all gone missing at the same time. Simply vanished from the school. After exhaustive searches through the forest nearby and the hills around, We caught wind of what happened, which passing by. I took it upon myself to find her, save the children. The townsfolk were afraid. They let their fear overcome them. I could not let that happen. Two days I tracked her through the forest, using every device I could muster. The encounter was difficult. It nearly cost me my life. In a sense, it did. She had consumed many of the children. But I was able to save some. But in her dying breath, she cursed me. And a minotaur I am. Still myself, I tried to return home. The children in tow. However, when I arrived, they believed me to be the culprit. Did not listen to reason. And once again, were overcome by fear. I ran. I could not outrun them, now blind by that fear. Believing themselves to be the heroes, the town. They caught up to me. They attacked, but I did not resist. They were my people. They beat me. For days. Tortured me. And even... Gave me a nickname. Aftermath, unhorrible. Single hoof, he said. However, that same night, a man arrived in town. Scared off the villagers. Just long enough to dress my wounds allowed me to go home and create one last device in my workshop, this leg. That man was Tarvon. He had no reason to do so. He did not know my story. 
but saw the mistreatment, the evil in their actions, but not their hearts, not kill them. Baban is no serper. He is not a liar, and he is. But these are words falling upon deaf ears of lizard folk brainwashed by generations of servitude. So whether you believe my story or not is of no consequence. Now, you have nothing more important to say. I'd like to rest. Oh, I believe you. Because... Our, our loyalty, our promise are always with the Queen of Hearts, not their heirs. Well, your Queen of Hearts now is this daughter, is it not? She is not. The one who cursed Tarvon? This is why we call her the Mistress of Madness. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like something I wish to say to her. See her blood. So... Red Tooth. Yeah? What? Yeah, yes. Yes. That was a great story. Are you a bard by chance, Single Hoof? <laughs> Pulls out, pulls out a fuck, pulls he's out a flute. He's just like, fuck, right. I didn't know. Yeah, just pulls out a flute <laughs> yeah. from his from his prosthetic leg. Just like a hidden one in there. He just got it. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls the Pirates of the Caribbean by Bosa. Has boot, like has boot in the leg. God. <laughs> the bagpipe. <laughs> 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 A whole fucking trombone. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you uh, yeah, yes, yes. What buckshot? You, you've heard the news. You heard this man's words as well. What do you think? With our loyalty, we cannot harm both of them. But if we if there's some kind of chance of gaining a, a better lifestyle, um, I turn my head and look at the all the little folks standing outside. Mm -hmm. Will you uh, take it? I absolutely. I I want to go to the other side. You know, I mean, buckshot. I mean. Almost no one can travel through the Feygate without the Amber Pass, and not many, many lizard folk get them, only those who have proven themselves. Most of us reside here in this town, you know that. Very few are on the other side. I'm curious to see it, I've never seen it myself. It, I've heard it's then, more uh... beautiful than this one. Well. What do we need to do? You have the choice. Charge the gates. No, that's not... Uh... Serve the queen and spend every day like this. Or serve the king for a chance for a better life for many generations before us. Hmm. That it's a great sound risk, right. but doesn't with a great reward as well. But the queen has supplied all of this. She's the reason we can hold the city on the other side. We have access to all these merchants. And she has created this wonderful life for us, and many generations behind we've been protected. Well, aren't you tired of... Aren't you tired of uh, all these executions? Even to our own kind, if she wills it. No, it's normal. The way of life. The price we pay. 
reap the rewards that she blesses us with. It is right. Red is right. But is it the price we earned? And it looks at you a little perplexed. Understand. We... This is what we were born into. This is our life. This is the way our parents lived and their parents. Yes, but... This is what they want. Not me. You? Oh. Well, then what do you want, Buckshot? You're speaking of... Confusing tales, I don't know, and you listen to a, a one-armed, one-legged minotaur. A bard who spins stories. Maybe hanging out with those outsiders, Buckshot has been... I don't know. A bad influence? You know, like when... Strongjaw gave that weird mushroom the sling arm. He threw up for three days straight. It's a bad idea. Yes. But. Through them, I've witnessed a lot of things, seen a lot of new experiences. Hmm. To be free of my own choices. Free? Hmm. You have some funny ideas, Buckshot. <laughs> yes. You sure you're not a bard? No, but I've met one. Green. Hmm. I don't know, Buckshot. You're talking funny. <laughs> anyway, I have to pee. Perhaps we can finish this conversation another time. <laughs> Perhaps. I sound so smart. <laughs> anyway, Buckshot, maybe you need some sleep. It sounds like those outsiders are really getting to you. Stop by Trunk Hands, and maybe he'll give you some some of that that liquor he created the other day. You know, the mix between horse piss and cow milk. It's quite delicious. You might enjoy it. Oh, this is what we've been reduced to. It's great. <laughs> but I gotta take a leak, Buckshot. And he kind of just like, no. So I leave it in your hands. Is it bad that I know the equivalent of that drink in real life? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. and then... Yes. Okay, right. <laughs> and with that, Buckshot will stand there, sort of perplexed, and we will move to the other scene, where the rest of the players are, as he continues to think about... Man. ...what he needs to. I, I really thought you would say, and with this scene, we're gonna take a break. Fuck's sake. I was so <laughs> ready for that. I was Thank ready you. to just be like, okay, see ya. It is a good moment for all of you viewers to think about what the heck the story just was. So you know what, Nettie will take your advice. And on that note of advice, then we will be right back after a few minutes of break, people. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome back again. This is It's Woo! a Crit. I am CJ the DM here. Thank you for being here. And uh, with me is Nettie and Ty on top, and then on the bottom Hi. we have Dom and Chris going that way. Aaron is absent on the ethereal plane today. Um, he has died, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. He's, uh, he's his probably His new fine. character will be played by... Uh... Wow, I drew a blank on that. Okay. <laughs> there's there's, there's going to be someone we're, out there viewers, who's going to believe this. Viewers, we're accepting, uh, we're accepting the applications for the replacement for Aaron, seeing oh, as he's now word. dead. No, I'm just, we're joking. we're joking, we're joking. We're just joking, Aaron will be back. He did die of chicken pox, I'm not gonna lie. He'll be back, he, he'll be yeah, back for episode 12. Not deadly disease, well. and he's just got him. Just got yeah, him. Yep. He'll, be, he'll, he'll be, be back for two weeks. 
Yeah, he'll be back in two weeks, episode 12. Uh, this is episode 10 right now. So we're at episode 10, so right now we just had a stunning Guys, revelation uh, by... Yes, Buckshot. We have to keep, one, two, you have to keep it PG. He's been sent to a shadow well. We already have a volunteer right. in our viewers to take his place. That was fast. Aaron, you've been replaced. Ooh. I'm just kidding. Ooh, Nonsense, wow, we can never... We <laughs> 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 All right. No, really, though. Uh, so we left off right now, guys. And essentially, Buckshot was talking to Redtooth, one of the other uh, lizard folk that he knows from his childhood and growing up in this town. Uh, speaking to Oznan Singlehoof, who is a prisoner right now, slated for an execution by beheading tomorrow at the hands of Buckshot. Buckshot listened to Oznan's story as he sat there and told him about what Tavon really is. To try to help... Simply, quote-unquote, help him... Actually, there's no quotes at all. It's just to help him sort of formulate his thoughts and opinions on this development of sibling heirs to the throne at this court. And so Buckshot is having this internal struggle, and you can see this sort of shift in him, and it's quite it's quite difficult for him to be able to process it, seeing as many of the lizard folk, maybe even a majority, you could say, are still in favor of the blindly following the, the Mistress of Madness herself. However, there is indeed that element of rebellion in some of them. So, we'll see what happens and how things develop on that end. For now, after hearing Oznan's sad story, we'll be moving to a different scene where Winter, Twig, and Basil are going out into the uh, forest nearby. Do something. What the hell are you guys doing? <laughs> We're going to hunt us something. Thanks, and Frozen Neddy. Oh, okay, well, you're back. <laughs> Welcome. Frozen oh. Neddy is... Uh, <laughs> Didn't know Friggs today. was here. No, Friggs was here today. Well, Twig is. I Aaron literally Gazzle. have. I'm literally playing a white scaled cat with focus on cold damage and cold. <laughs> and you refer to a whole different fucking campaign? <laughs> <laughs> on the bright side, it's sunny in the game today. See? Sunny weather, guys. We rolled sunny hey, weather today. It is a sunny weather right now. Why are you so crikey in your shell? <laughs> I've got woken up and slept twice. Also, I am really fucking hurt. Oh, you're hurt? <laughs> yes. Stop. I did not get a chance to heal up. Ow. You took one point of damage. <laughs> I I was left with 14 points yeah. with 14 HP That's after that really one point of damage. More. Thank you, Buckshot. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine you, if you'd gotten like a full damage critical or something, like it just knocks out. <laughs> <laughs> Insulting enough that I got slapped by myself in a dream and then you slapped me <laughs> in real life. <laughs> that sounds straight up Do you not count the emotional damage? Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a d20 for emotional damage. Let's see. Okay. Emotional damage. I'm just kidding. I'm just oh kidding. God. I'm not gonna no, do you'll it. you get used to it. I was just kidding. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, Winter, uh, you've led the party out into this wild goose chase, being invisible. Somehow they followed you. I'm not exactly sure how. Well, I'm. Mean, I sent a I message. I tied a to string Twig. to his tail. Yeah. They're going down south. They don't know where Winter is. They're just going south like, Winter! Oh, we're visible again. Reba Wait, and I uh, are visible oh. again. Okay. We didn't have invisibility for too long, so it was basically, get out of town! Puff! <laughs> there they are. And I'm frozen. Nice. Yeah. Puff. There they are. Okay, you're back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess Buckshot and Crescendo are going to sit at the bar and drink together while the rest of the party goes on this hunt. All right, hunt. Guaranteed. So, Winter, you're leading the party into this hunt as uh -huh. you are the uh, ferocious predator of the group. Uh-huh. Lead I on. am. What are you looking for? I am looking for a deer or something that has a good amount of meat on it. Roll survival. Maybe even something better than a deer. Just survival. a good amount of meat. Survival. A lot. Survival. Someone gonna help me? <laughs> looking for I a deer. I don't think that either of them are good at it, so. I, I, mean, uh, I have a druid with I... me that might know its way around. And there's, there's an orc that came from the wild question. I will say that I will help Winter by uh, literally just sticking only my head out of my shell and like looking around the grass to see if there are tracks. Yeah, Twig literally just set Fazzle's shell in the grass like 
right side up, just <laughs> set it down while Basil's head pokes out. Cause, hey, eh, bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Is okay. Thanks for your help. Uh, I, I'll, yeah, I'll give it to you. Just for pity. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I would, I would have understood if it would have been no. <laughs> <laughs> That's an, it's a survival check, please, with advantage. From all of us. No, just just winter. Okay, just all right. Winter. I was gonna say nineteen. Ooh. Okay, uh, you see what appears to be a small deer, rotund with small legs. It's very adorable, just sitting there in the forest by itself. Oh no, I think Nettie knows what that is. <laughs> it's a small deer, rotund. Uh huh. <laughs> Temple hat. Uh -huh. Temple hat. Uh huh. Alrighty. Um. I... I forgot what my abilities are called. Twig Magic. already has a hand axe in his hand and goes, Say the moon winter, I'll have a short. You got a road? I'm gonna try. Okay. Let's the coordinate. <laughs> this is gonna go. How He's far away is it? What's that? How far away is it? Yeah. Uh, probably good, like 40 feet right now. 40? Awesome. I'm gonna trust in my dice or am I gonna go for the safe? <sighs> hey. Say the one way tap. I'm gonna start conjuring up a, uh, a, a ray of frost. Great, let okay. me get that stealth check from all three of you, please. Ooh, okay. Three, right. two, <laughs> stealth check. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Uh wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. I think I can do a thing with this. <laughs> oh <laughs> Can you wait. do a thing with that? Ah shush. <laughs> can you just think about that though? How can you do anything work? about that? That, uh... that isn't that one, viewers. That isn't that one. Oh no. I'm gonna go no thank you. <laughs> I just thought I've been rolling so well today. <laughs> you guys conjure up your abilities. Yep. Holding the axe for the throw and you begin to conjure your spell. And as you go to conjure your spell, uh -huh. you feel breathing on your neck. <laughs> oh, you I turn around. Don't fix that. And as you should have. And as you turn around, an adorable, rotund, small-legged deer, same as the one ahead of you, is standing right behind you. As it very slowly, with the cute button eyes, begin to s dislocate its jaw. Open its maw to these three rows of consecutive teeth. It's a dorky. And it begins to grow as you see the dorgy behind you. Matt, you rot, Winter. We sure get some mushrooms from this, this just, forest. Can I get I a deck save it. from all three of you? Oh, I look what a cute little I, I guy. Quick, <laughs> stop that. Stop that. I, I put my hand up and like, on my paw and like, uh, Twig. Dex check Twig. or dex save? Save. save. Oh, oh. oh my god, that's a nat 20! No, it's not. So that was it's a save. Not? He rolled oh, a dex a check. check. Oh. <laughs> it's a dex save. Well, dex and save? to see as level 1 exhaustion, that's also like disadvantage, right? No, dex oh, checks only. No, no, dex no, no, save no, is only, not. Only, okay. only, yeah, only on skills checks right now. Okay. Well, if anything okay. happens, we are all, all three of us are fucked. Okay, so 14, 14, and 15. So, yeah. you guys, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to decide on a move. Each of you decide on a move? I'm gonna eat the boss. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this Twig's gonna draw his, uh, and his uh, great sword sharpness and just hold action like, ah, I just uh, turn around yeah. burning hands. We need mushrooms, right? First. Winter. <laughs> I'm gonna roast that. Um, 
So because Ty was first, that is the one we'll go with. I thought each of us. Yeah, yeah. I was just trying to get all three of you to run at something, but uh, Ty beat y'all, so Ty's going. Sorry. <laughs> okay, first of all, you started the time I was still explaining what we were supposed to do. Second of all, you never said that the first one would actually be the thing. I didn't have enough time to explain. There was only 20 seconds, so it worked. You On the bright side, the so time. you I'm... ate the moss first before everyone else out of panic. I, I was just literally looking for a snack because uh. they were looking for things to eat and I was hungry and I remember that I had the moss. It and that begins it was edible, so to rain. Okay. Uh, so Fish. Cool. Oh. Fish. As you eat the moss, your eyes just go completely, the, the pupils dilate almost a hundred percent. And all of a sudden, just like you see above you, this sort of a uh, small storm of like uh, these storm clouds begin to form up above you. And uh, they're, they begin to turn this weird purple and gray and begin to pulse back and forth as these fish begin to just fly out of this cumulonimbus looking cloud. And they just begin to fall all over you. And as and as the creature begins to open its maw and it opens it, some fish land in its mouth. And it goes... We got fish. And it just kind of bites down on it, on the fish. You guys have a few more moments to react. You have one more action. What do you do? I want to roast it. You're good. Well, th okay. Th Yep, you want to fight the dorgy? Let's go. Here we go. Dorgy fight. Oh, no. I want to roast the dorgy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Roll let's your text. Everyone roll, roll your text. <laughs> you have bought yourself an action each. So that was a good move there, Basil. Good job. Thank you. 10. Okay. That's 10. Okay. Where's the text, guys? Get your text. I, 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 had your text. To look I am spell. doing stuff. Shut up! Oh, that's like, hey, hey, so hey. bad. Actually, not a answer. Uh, actually, oh, nope, it's right at Verge. Cool. Okay, so, Basil, you open up your... your is this the, the dragon head-looking thing that you chomp on? It is the head, yes. Wonderful. So, Basil, your head turns into a giant chomping turtle head dragon-looking thing, and you bite down on him at the same time that Twig swings. And the burning hands, which do hit, begin to incinerate the creature. The creature begins to scream and screech. It can't move because Basil has grabbed onto it. It begins to screech from the pain of the fire as also then the, finally this great sword of sharpness comes down on it, decapitating the creature. All three of you together have been able to bring this thing down in an instant, thanks to the distraction of the fish storm. The other dorgy runs away, but you have defeated this one, narrowly escaping the jaws of death, quite literally. <sighs> Winter, what the fuck? I think I have slobber on my paw. Is anyone, is anyone gonna want the fish? Have I ever had fish? Is there is there fish in the in the in the high in the rivers of the high mountains? Yes, let's say that there are. Okay. Yeah. Add that. By the way, uh, Basil yeah. is Basil looks like he's high out of his mind. <laughs> his pupils are dilated. He still he was not able to completely dispel primal savagery so he has like a couple of a couple of uh tooth uh, a couple of teeth just like jutting out of his normal turtle beak it looks very weird and very <laughs> stupid and he's just like eh, we're in the teeth the... that, that fish <laughs> did i roast some fish did you roast some fish uh the one in its mouth because well, it's a cone three fish uh, Twig's gonna look. Okay. Twig is gonna look around for any more like threats to his hunting party. Okay. Roll a perception check. Yeah. Cause you hear rustling nearby. Oh. Huh. Yeah. 
and you realize it's just a flock of butterflies. They fly out from a bush. All right, after that, Twig is going to be just pat uh, Basil on his back and go join Buckshot and Crescendo in the bar. Oh, the uh, Basil just completely went after the butterflies. He was just like, Wait, pretty. <laughs> So, so you guys and you guys you guys are, are pretty far away remember you're actually pretty far away but it's fine so twig is just like i'm out he goes he just starts walking back Blink. towards the, the end of the forest line Blink. down the little uh, kind of down the decline uh, into that like little ba uh, like basin valley of where the village is located um, i am tired oh, I, need, oh, I need your help that's what is so high <laughs> He got on all fours and he's walking like a normal turtle. He's just walking <laughs> after the butterflies like, oh, oh, oh. pretty. Oh my god. What? 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 What's this flies? And he's just walking around before. And then, Winter, you're in front of this dorgy, and I mean, the dorgy itself is, is larger than you are. So, um, you know, it's, size, it's like the size of a, like a donkey. It's like not super big, but it's like, it's, it's bigger than you. <laughs> Well, yeah. if Twig is out of earshot, I'm gonna send a message. I need your help! With Please. what? What? <laughs> what? I can't carry the meat back into town because I want the wand. Your help. Long, exasperated sigh. <sighs> and he walks back and just grabs the... whatever he just killed by the oh. leg and just... <sighs> Uh, all right, what? <laughs> three plus four, Just three. Give me, give me, give me a bit. I'm sorry. I, I promise it's worth it. I'll buy you food. I don't later. want food. I have food in my pack that uh -huh. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> wanna find, wanna find your family, right? Yeah, actually. See, even when this is over, like, whatever, honestly, whatever we're doing, I'm not quite sure. You know, the sides are both looking pretty weird. Eh. I'm gonna stay by your side. We're gonna find them. Does that sound good? But don't you want to be a dragon? Yeah. But that can wait. Dragons get old. So I have all the time in the world. <laughs> I have 10 years because orcs only live up to 50 and I'm 40. A really like well, random statement cool. of fact. He's just like, he's like, well, you know, the average lifespan is <laughs> just like, <laughs> <laughs> he's a father. He knows. Well, oh my God. I can help you. That way we're going to be faster. Hmm. Also 40, that's a lot. I'm like three. Well, well, hang on. Humans, like, 40 is like their midlife crisis. Like, I, I see know. it by, like, fancy-ass carriages and stuff. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm only, like, three. You're three? Yeah. Aren't you a dragon in, like, kitty cat form? Yeah. Man, I have a lot to learn about you. <laughs> well, we we're lie. supposed to talk later, right? You right, but like everything happened between like, you know, changing swords with all these lizard folks and, you know, uh -huh. like learning about Basil being like super deep and into the environment. <laughs> moss especially. Especially Moss. I mean, look at him. <laughs> He's what's at Basil. <laughs> Speaking of, you feel just She's not something fast. very you you feel something very gingerly placed on your head and you see Basil just stretching up, putting a flower crown on your head. Winter? But he was... <laughs> no, uh, Twig. Twig. I put, oh. I, Basil is putting oh. a flower crown on top of Twig's head. And he's still high as fuck. You just see it on his face. But he goes... Twig. Yeah. You know, it's, it's been a long time since I've had relatives or any kind. But you okay. know what? I would feel proud to be able to call you part of my family. So anyone that has you is very lucky. And I promise you, whoever you're looking for, we're going to find them. Oh my god. We 
Yay! And then he just does a cartwheel and gets stuck on his back. <laughs> and he's like the drunk uncle at all those like family parties, you know, it's just like yeah. really embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wow. Oh, at least he can run away now. And Twig looks really tired. She goes, oh, oh man. I really, really wish that my kids can see this adorable grandpa and he like take let's go whatever is uh the crazy deer mm. and I'm gonna skin the thing grab the meat flips, flips over basil on his stomach so oh. he's not you know not gonna die <laughs> he's back <laughs> okay skin the dory, grab the meat all right i'll do that for you great Okay. So you have grabbed the dorgy and skinned it. Yeah, and then and then grab the meat from it so that oh my god, I'm frozen again. So that it's not the dorgy shape and like on the skeleton, but like uh it's uh the slabs of meat. Okay. So y yep, you have slabs of meat. All right, Although perfect. you're not well, you're not a hunter, and you don't really know that. Oh, it doesn't have to be pretty. Okay then. I just don't want the shape to be a dorgy shape. Okay. <laughs> Twig is using his gray sword of sharpness just to like carefully <laughs> carve, and it's just like it's like <laughs> it's just like, sing, sing. <laughs> I bet they're gone. Sort of okay. sitting by them, just again, leg spread, making another flower crown, this time smaller for winter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So, take the meat back to town. Yeah. To the store. Back but. to the store? Yeah. Oh, but. Before we go into the store. Okay. <sighs> Here comes the plan, guys. Ooh, so I have, a, I have a lot of meat, right? Rot. A lot. Right? instead of having a boss fight. All right, then. <laughs> Correct, CJ? What? Like, I now have a lot of meat. Yeah. Okay. Terribly cut, but yes. It doesn't matter. A lot of meat. Well, not, not yeah. too much. I'm going what? to use prestidigitation to flavor up to one cubic foot of non-living material, which this meat is not anymore, and I'm going to flavor it Seder. <laughs> and I know what Seder tastes like because I bit one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is a sort of brown goddammit. All right, take it in. <laughs> Take it on in, then. Yup! Let's do this! Where the fuck are we? Basil, are you going into the... ...or are you gonna stay outside again? You haven't met these vendors or anything. I think I'm cartwheeling into the store. <laughs> cartwheeling? As a turtle. Last yes. time. If you can... Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, some things you just don't fight against. Yeah. Nettie, Nettie, did you plan that, by the way? Yes. From the oh moment, even God. before Reaver got uh, visible, I was like, I'm going to use great invisibility, knock so that he opens the door, go inside, bite him, because of great invisibility, I won't be visible, and walk outside again to then get some meat, flavor it. <laughs> I've been working on this. Y'all thought I was crazy biting the satyr, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yes. Wait, are you carrying the meat for for, for winter? Yeah, he, he's carrying the meat. There's one meat. thing you can say. That is genius. <laughs> he's carrying. Yeah, it's very. It's like legit. Like I did that is not. That's a well plan. Yeah. I wish I was that smart in any D and D scenario, but apparently only for stupid shit. <laughs> As it should be. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, if it's wow. stupid and it works, it's not stupid anymore. Yeah. 
That is a fair point. <clears throat> the ones where we're inside, I'll, I'll jump on the counter again. Hi! Okay, yep, so you're hanging from the counter. Drunk Hands is standing there. No. Yes. Hi. So, about the Seder meat. I brought you Seder meat. You see, like, a genuine concern on his face. Cuban Davis. Not Would yet. You prefer that to be the source of the meat? Will an inside check? <laughs> uh, uh, to be fair, I don't think you did specify what kind of data. <laughs> if you wanted it to be a posh one, you should have said that. <laughs> I'm in better fed, I can get it. The turtle for I, sale. I ate meat uh, once. No, he ate some weird stuff. I uh, didn't do it again. He's high as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. Uh, yeah, you can and see. I'm gonna you can, grab you can see, a bit. Yeah, you can see Trunk Hands is sort of, uh. kind of like. When you ask if that's what he wanted, or he kind of just looks like, um, like a little nervous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> See his eyes darting back and forth. Um, I'll grab a piece of meat and, and offer it to him. Yep, yeah, I taste. Actually, actually, tastes pretty good compared to some other things. And this is especially cedar meat. Yeah. Exception check. Taste. I want him to taste with it. advantage. Yeah, you can do. You can have it with this with advantage because it eat. I'm gonna it. use two points of inspiration on that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the check you roll. No. Wait, 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 that's the check. I have four I, I, I don't know which checks are gonna come. I just want the I just really, really, really want this <laughs> fucking stab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fair. Ooh. Then he's competing for a wand of the war mage plus three, which should not be you in this inventory. Advantage, right? uh, yes. <laughs> with your plus with your plus <laughs> ten to <laughs> <laughs> he rolled two That's tens, guys. 20. He rolled two wow. tens, guys. It's still a dirty twenty. It's a dirty twenty. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. Nope. That's so cool. I'm not gonna I lie. hope that's enough. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna kind of look at you and just. It's taste. It's interesting. It has the same texture as a dorgy, but. The taste is different. The fuck is a dorgy? And Twigs says <laughs> on the side. A dorgy? <laughs> oh, it's... This creature we have here common in the forest nearby that... Well, they're quite adorable and small and chunky, but... They're vicious creatures. Their mouths... Their mouths open very wide, and... Some of the adult males even have these tendrils that fire out from their antlers. It's horrifying and very, very painful way to die, but... But they're delicious. Oh. But the texture's a little... You live here. What? Why do you live here? Why do we live here? <laughs> if you have doggies. We, we protect the fig gate. Yeah, but like, if you have these things that are a painful way to die, but you want to move your city, especially since it's, you know, in ruins, away from the doggies, but he said they're delicious. Don't have to try one. Yeah, I'll try Ooh. it. Well, don't say have that around had... Pintavis. Might be the last thing you say, Orc. Be careful. He's a little hot-headed. I'm gonna look at, uh... I'm gonna try and find some common ground. Um... Uh... No, but this is delicious. Oh, good. Perfect. Not me looking through the race is trying to find a race that might be delicious. <clears throat> wow. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, I might be willing to part with my magical stick that you wanted. Mm -hmm. And look, it's a whole mound of cider meat. That's incredible. Sticky fingers. Kind of looks over. Yeah. 
<laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. <laughs> they got Seder meat. Why is this? While well, he's distracted doing that, Basil has just kind of started pacing around the room. And while uh, this guy is talking with the other one, uh, I want to grab the uh, Staff of Withering. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not trying to. I've worked so hard on this. <laughs> So Sticky Fingers is looking over. Can you roll a sleight of hand check, Basil, with disadvantage? Disadvantage? Because, because you're high and because uh, they're all basically in a pile. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going to put... Uh, you're going to use inspiration, inspiration on this? inspiration points into that. How many? Three. Three oh, points of inspiration. Three. That's going to give you a plus yeah. eight. Holy Basil's balls. Basil's trying to beat Jenga yeah. heart mode. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, sleight shit. of hand. Right. Uh, it's control for disadvantage. <clears throat> well, we'll just take oh. the lower. Four. Oh. oh. My, oh, but plus, plus eight. eight. So it's 12. Oh, it's 12. 12. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Basil, or not Basil, uh, Winter, as you're um, kind of looking at, uh, or J Trunkhead is looking at you, he's on. Hmm. Okay, cat. Tell you what. I'll give you the what. But before you leave, promise to give me one more delivery of later meat. All right. But oh, when? Bef before you, before, before you leave, leave the town Cal? permanently, whatever. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sometime in the next 10 day. All right. All right. Well, deal. And he sticks out his hand. This... <laughs> It his gets, massive hands you know, compared to his from, body. Yeah, disproportionately <laughs> big. <laughs> Just from personal experience, don't let it sit out too long. It doesn't hold very well. Seder mm. is... And I look towards the embassy. Seder is an odd kind of meat. So we should eat it now. Sticky fingers, come here! Yeah. You want meat? Sticky well, fingers just like sprints over. To his hand. Okay. Heck Sticky yeah. And Sticky Fingers just sprints over, and they begin to just begin to... They begin to just... They begin to just before you dig fight, in. Before you eat this! And they both... They're both just like... Trunk hands! And he holds up the long sword of turn death. This for that! And he puts the javelin of lightning. <laughs> Old persuasion? Hey, <laughs> Persuasion. This for that. No, nah, that's the religion! No, nope, wrong one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dom is in panic, but... Isn't that Talbon's long sword? <laughs> Who cares? I'm saying Talbon! Oh, God. Wait, which great sword are you giving away? The, the, not the great sword, the... Sword. Yeah, great, the long sword of certain death. Sword of certain death. Talbon's, Talbon's other blade you're yeah. giving... Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna save his oh, no. ass. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my, okay, so you, sorry, so where's your roll? It's a 15, uh, okay. 15. Yeah. So he's just like about to chew in. He's, and it just like kind of slowly just bites down on it. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. Oh. He just bites into it. And takes a javelin. <laughs> Thanks. I think it was winter. Oh my God. Oh. There's that one scene from the uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. <laughs> <I've> been... <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Have you seen the way they eat? No, <laughs> I haven't seen that. <laughs> uh, so Basil, as, as uh, Sticky Fingers runs over there, you're able to sloppily just kind of like grab the stick out of like the pile and it's like underneath these other ones. It's kind of like got to jingle it out. <laughs> yeah. And as you go to jingle it out, the horse just neighs in the corner and so it's it's, it masks a lot of the sound. And Sticky okay. Fingers is just sprinting straight, beadlining right for the meat anyway. And so you get away with it with your 14 because of that plus eight. You, you, you're, able to, you're able to, to, to get away with grabbing the Staff of Withering. What have I done? Holy shit. 
whole reason why I wanted to do that was because I'm gonna take my normal walking cane and I'm just gonna use them both as clutches, <laughs> just like swinging in the air, like wee <laughs> around. And then throws it down. Like we I don't want the step anyway. <laughs> just throws it away. <laughs> just like we are. No, I I am <laughs> keeping both staffs. I'm just <laughs> using them like wee. Oh my god. We are legit I'm... the spec ops to go into the Feywild. To the Feywild. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Okay, let's go. Oh, thank you. Yes, I'll remember to point, man. give you more cider meat later. Enjoy. I'm gonna grab just... the staff and the wand. And... All right, let's go to the others. As if just being <laughs> south of like me. <laughs> Ezel, come in. Uh, yay! Oh. He's just using the two canes as like, the two staffs as like clutches to swing his body around like Wee! <laughs> That's adorable. Um, he yeah. just he follows them out like out of the uh the store just doing that. Yes, we're gonna go to the tavern where Buckshot and Crescendo are. Okay, so party, you uh end up leaving and going to regroup with the rest of your party members, which are apparently uh, drinking their sorrows away, or whatever they're doing. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm works. telling you, Crescendo, three wells of tea. It's, it's horrifying. Crescendo's <laughs> 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 just sitting at the bar, just slowly drinking. Not even looking over at Buckshot, just like, kind of just like pointing, just like, give me another. Just, He's down the alcohol. Not even acknowledging anything. Yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> okay, Barty, and. Right. Oh, and. Oh, teeth the cute, hey, you know. Neither was pretty adorable. <laughs> Anyways, uh, enough of my. Enough about my ex. The lizard folk is just sitting there, just like kind of pouring crescendo another glass and just takes his head. No. Talk about my sister that way. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but come on, Buckshot. It's just. I was going to say my mom for a second. <laughs> Ty, no! I'm sorry! Right. We know where I'm Ty's sorry. mind is. Thank you, Ty! <laughs> <laughs> and that, the party will spend the rest of their day preparing for their long rest, relaxing, attunement, attunement. attuning their stuff. They are going yeah. to long rest for the night. Uh, it's about 7 p.m., so you guys are going to spend like, like four-ish, maybe like three, maybe like uh, three to four hours, uh, kind of just relaxing, taking a breath, you know, uh, preparing your weapons, sharpening, cleaning yourselves, whatever you need to do, drinking, spending time with people. So preparing up. And so it'll be tell back stories. Telling, telling backstories. Uh, so maybe about almost 11, 10, 30, 11 ish PM is probably when you guys would go to bed. And, uh, <laughs> well, that, that's something. Let me tell you. Um, so knowing that the, and you guys can actually, will actually spend that time to think of whatever your next move is, because, uh, as Pentavis had asked previously, you know, you have something to do in the morning. And so you'll spend this time to deliberate and think about what really will be your next move as a party. So, um, uh, about four or five hours gives you 10, 30. Yeah. Well, you guys, you have a life to decide. You have uh, someone's hand is, someone's life is in your hands and you have a fate to decide. And so we'll begin next week with that decision uh so the uh, thank you guys for watching and being here a uh, part of the it's a crit stream thank you for participating we love when you guys are part of this will this group save oznan somehow oznan single hoof the minotaur once human artificer or will they consign him to his fate uh as pentavis has requested and then travel through the fey gate we'll find out next week 
on Feywild Follies. Thank you guys. If you enjoyed it, you know, follow, subscribe. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you know, go ahead and like and subscribe. That helps us out there. We can keep uh, putting the older episodes up there and it helps us support the channel. Um, if you want to get notifications when we go live and you want to just be able to interact a little more directly, follow us on It's a Crit uh, at, on Twitter uh, with three T's, though. It's a Crit with three T's because we're <laughs> special. Um, and on that note, you guys, I think that'll be it. See you next time.